afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another Fast Facts and Features with me, the brand ambassador, uh, Jeanette of Ethical Flooring. Just so you're aware, this is a recording as we experienced technical difficulties when we attempted to go live. So hello, Kevin. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's nice and sunny and a little, little bit of uh, spring feeling in the air. Huh? That's nice. So what's going on with your chair? little differentness in uh, your framing today. This was a Christmas present from my family, which took a little bit of time for me to build because mm -hmm. that's kind of how I roll, but eventually I got it. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's got some of the ethical flooring green on it. It's got mm -hmm. a bit of a race car kind of look. I like to drive, I like cars. Um, so yeah, it was a little bit of a fun present that uh, actually is pretty comfy as well too. You, you look like you're going to go warp speed into spring. I, I've been waiting on the start line for months. <laughs> awesome. So yesterday I pre-posted that um, why buy Canadian? And as a consumer, why is that important to us? Well, I guess first off, it's not important to everybody, um, mm. you know, which is fair. So it's actually one of the first questions that we may ask uh, when you come through the door, um, you know, is Canadian made hardwood important to you? And most people haven't thought about it, you know, in, in my generation and, and beyond, um, you know, to be honest, not much is made in Canada anymore. So it's not even an expectation, I think, that we would have. But um, Canada has an amazingly world-class hardwood floor uh, manufacturing industry. Um, you know, it's not based out of BC, unfortunately, most of it's in Quebec and in Ontario, some of the older provinces and we're well established, but, um, you know, we have an amazing and amazing hardwood floor industry and um, yeah, we like to support it 100%. So it's one of the questions that, that we're going to ask um, if that is important to you and to uh, thankfully to a lot of our clients, uh, you know, it is. So that's a great starting point. I'm going to stop you there for a second because you just said something that I bet you a lot of people don't realize. Why are there not hardwood floors? I think there's one out here out west. But what's the difference between western oak? Because I have an oak tree right outside my window here. A western oak tree and an eastern oak tree. Why is all the good hardwood floor manufactured back in Ontario or in Quebec? Yeah, I mean, that, that's a great question. And I, I've spent quite a bit of my time traveling throughout the forests of BC just for my dad. He was a real outdoorsman. So, um, you know, and as I got into the flooring industry, I'd start to look around what kind of trees they were and mostly softwoods, right? You go into any of your standard BC forests, you're going to find spruce, pine, fir, lots of fir. Woods that are where are getting turned into hardwood floors because they're they're softwoods right mm -hmm. so if you look at actually a map of north america of the distribution of you know the high quality hardwoods like the oaks like the hard maples uh hickory um, walnut none of these are really really indigenous in into our area and growing in great great numbers you know all of our commercially available forests i would say are are pretty much made out of softwood species. So that's why we do a lot of plywood here. We do a lot of two by fours, uh, building, you know, softwoods for building and uh, framing those kind of things. But in terms of hardwood floor, the majority of the of the tree stock, uh, so to speak, is is east and south, uh, southeast, you know, going into the US. And um, I think just for historical reasons too, obviously Ontario and Quebec are much older provinces. Right. Industry started in Canada uh, in those provinces and they just had quite a bit of a head start, I would say, in terms of building up the ability to process trees because, you know, let's face it, that's why a lot of white people came to Canada in the first place right. it was because of our trees. So, And it's interesting. I can remember as a project manager, the older homes that the 1920s, 30s, 40s homes that historically... I love the the strip inlay that was downstairs, the top nail, and then you would go upstairs and you'd find fur. 
You'd uh -huh. find that the areas that weren't used as much or taking that, that abuse of day-to-day -day living, there tended to be beautiful fur, BC fur floors upstairs and that that beautiful top nail with those inlays downstairs. Uh -huh. and, um, yeah, it's so interesting. Often, often wondered, because I think like a customer is like, hey, excuse me, can't we keep our money here in BC as much as possible? Why do I have to buy the hardwood floor coming out of Ontario or Quebec? So with speaking with that, one of your top brands in um, in ethical on your showroom floor is vintage hardwood flooring. That's so right. let's talk a little bit about vintage hardwood flooring. Why are they in your showroom? Great. Yeah. So I, I first started working with vintage around, uh, let's say, 2010. So maybe about 12 years ago now, when a gentleman by the name of Mr. Alan Sieben walked through my door and, uh, and proposed to me to take on vintage hardwood flooring. Uh, actually, I had a previous uh, store that I worked at and you know, I liked Alan. He's a good guy. Uh, still is, <laughs> and uh, good mutual friend of ours. And um, you know, they they had an interesting story with their with their production based out of Ontario. Mm -hmm. um, so we ran with them, and they actually um, got purchased in the uh, in time flies, but I'd say maybe seven, eight, nine years ago, mm -hmm. uh, they got purchased by another one of our friends, which is Mirage. So the parent company, Boa Franc. Uh, it was the, the manufacturer of the Mirage brand of hardwood. They actually bought up uh, the vintage brand and started to hybridize some of the production. So uh, you have a mix with the vintage between manufacturing in Quebec and some work done in Ontario as well. Um, so for us, it's a 100%, you know, Canadian made product um, by a brand that, you know, in our, our estimation is, is the best in the industry. Um, so it really, um, you know, it's a brand in and of its own right and has its own color bank, its own looks all together, but we know it's being overseen by the same people who make Mirage hardwood, which means that it's going to be a fantastic product. And there's got to be a sense of peace of mind for me as a consumer that when you mention Alan, your, your area rep or territory rep for the product, that at any given time, you've got a question, you've got an issue, you've got a, oh, you've done a beautiful floor and you want him to come and take a look at what it looks like done. Uh, as I love to call it boots on the ground here, that support system is so valuable. When you've got products that come from overseas, it's either time zones you're dealing with to try and get help or the product's not made anymore and you're not going to get any help because it's coming from offshore. So that has to be a huge peace of mind for you, Kevin. Yeah, there's a couple of great points there. And I'll just start with the second one where you're talking about product that's discontinued or not made anymore. You know, on a commodity product coming in from overseas, you know, once it's made you know, or once it's discontinued, you're, you're out of luck, right? In terms of needing future repair material or you just want to add on um, and that happens, right? And if you buy a nice floor and then you do another renovation five years later and you want to add on in new areas with the same floor, you know, most cases that's not going to be possible because right. flooring is a bit of a fashion, um, you know, product and just like clothes change fashion. So does flooring. So one of the beautiful things about both vintage and Mirage is anything that they've made before in the past, you know, they keep the, um, the recipe for that, so to speak, and, and they can remake it for you again at, at any point in the future. Um, so that's built in insurance for sure. And, you know, dealing with clients on a day to day basis, um, I've seen that happen. And heck, it happened in my own home where I had a, a an overseas product. Now it was a nice product from Sweden, but it was discontinued product that, that I picked up from for a really nice price. Um, I used up all of it to do my home and then my hot water tank flooded, mm -hmm. right? And maybe five boards got permanently damaged as a result of the hot water tank. Um, but I had absolutely zero material to, mm. to repair it. So I ended up having to do a fairly major replacement um, for a fairly minor flood. Um, okay. So that's why I say that's built in insurance policy. When you're working with a Canadian made product, specifically Mirage or Vintage, um, you know, there's an insurance policy there. And, and that's part of their a la carte manufacturing or their on-demand manufacturing you have these flexibilities that you just don't have with with mass mass production and and i know as a consumer and we're all 
through trying times right now, and we're coming out of the other end of it, that I want my money to know that it's A, going to your company with your hardworking project managers and installers, and that my money is also going, staying in Canada, and the, like, there's a whole succession of, of good stuff when you do work with and buy from a Canadian company. There's, there's got to be that good feeling that, oh, no problems, no issues, and I'm helping my own economy. There's got to be a good feeling. I know I do. Well, I look for Oh, hundred percent. You know, it's not when we talk about the vintage and Mirage brands. I mean, we have technical things that are just way above the industry average in terms of milling quality and consistency and quality of the material overall. Mm -hmm. Like we haven't talked about that. That's that's a part of it. Um, and then we also with in terms of you mentioned just boots on the ground, you know, it, it's really important to have face to face with the people that you're supplying with. I mean, we've had very few issues with their product over the years. And, you know, in those rare instances where something has happened, you know, Alan has been a great partner of ours and, and with the company behind him to, to make sure anything um, gets cleaned up. So, but on the, the local part of it, yeah, I mean, I, I look Alan in the face, like I said, we've become friends. I've known him for 12 years now. We've been working together for 12 years. You know, I know that, you know, he's a neighbor and he's getting paid by people buying Canadian made hardwood, right? And, and that is happening all the way across the country. I mean, at last count, Bullfront, which is the parent company of Mirage and Vintage, they were employing over 600 people directly mm -hmm. in Canada. And that doesn't take into account all of the indirect, you know, offset. It's the restaurants that are outside mm -hmm. of the, the mill, right? It's the trucking companies that bring the product across Canada. It's people like me who make a living off of selling their product. Like the, the knock-on or the ripple effect of keeping the money within the country is... I, mean, I was going to say it's incalculable. I'm sure it's economic, economists do calculate what that is, but I'm sure it, it's much broader than, than we would think it is at first glance, like the impact of the money staying in our country. So what a great conversation today. Thank you so much. I know I look for, I'm a big label reader. Uh, I love Sporting Canadian and the vintage brand is I, I love it. I've installed as a project manager in my past thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of square feet of the product. And I know when the installers get it from on the job form, they're like, yay, we're getting a well-made <laughs> well floor. It's, it, they're making our job a lot easier as well. So uh, thank you so much, Kevin. We'll uh, see, you, see you or Jan or project manager or maybe even a supplier next uh, Tuesday, not Tuesday, next Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday uh, for another episode of Fast Facts and Features. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks, Jeanette. Take care.